Yo, what's happening, everybody? It is I call it Dig, and welcome back to some more episodes of Final Fantasy 16. I, I honestly I forgot where we at right now. I I remember that like we gotta do these type of missions where we gotta save the damn village or something like. All these like random like, <laughs> villages that are that is like under attack, uh, some stuff. Yeah, that's all. Before, oh, okay. But anyways, before I start, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Oh shit. I really do hope we're at the last point. I know that I said this like a bunch of times, but I love this game, but it sh I should have like got done with this game for quite a while now. Shit. All right, come on. Come here. Get this work. Get this work. Nice, awesome. I I meant to do that. What in the chuckable? That's the evil one. I see. Ah. That's it. Cool. Something's coming. Oh, it's you fucker. I I haven't even I see you in like in a minute. Only the first round to wait. Shall we? Uh, yeah, sure me, yeah. Alright, where, where are you? you? One one eye, bitch. No, locked in, locked in, locked in. There we go. Those damage. Nope. Woo. Move, 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 move. Thank God. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. I completely forgot about this. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. 
Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that... Of course they can stay. Quest completed. Now I got like what? Three left? And I just love it up. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Who? Oscar, over here. Who's? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. And and then you will die. Sure. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. Oh, Kai, why not? Nor was I ever the finest. Damn. Spending time in the company of an outlaw respect, hardly respect, seems respect. a education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. Mm. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are, I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right, we know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. So I only got one, and that is a North. I can't. I can't read it. Fuck. North Reach. In this dilemma. Gotcha. 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 All right. Um. Where the fuck is it? Nope. Uh. First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. God, I saw it with my own eyes. The whole of Oriflame under a flood. And we're next. Go down here. Here we go. I can't do it. Oh, it's homegirl. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm here. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but... Okay, I, I think... They've taken so many. I've lost Okay, count. I think it's... Um, 
I remember. Uh, I cannot speak. I can't speak. Um, I rem I can't speak. Um, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. This game is long as hell, but anywho, I asked for it. Ninety, uh, nope. We could do the do. The two soldiers were carrying another. He didn't have any legs. Madame, please. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't ask to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, what Talk to, to me nice. <laughs> oh, she don't like that. <laughs> the way the she, she do not like that. <laughs> out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps I did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Bruh. All right. Uh, you. That thing. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then. Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when. When. Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. All right. It's all right. Give me your arm. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing. Things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. So a village, gotcha. Uh, can I like t teleport? Is there like a um? The the goddamn safe. Uh, I cannot speak. Um, a motherfucking safe point. If so, I can really use it. it was all they could do to escape. They just left the oh wait, how do I? Nope. Oh shit. No. Ready, go. Run like Sprint. All right, all right.
Oh, he, oh, is y'all? Oh, man. Watch out. Watch out. Alright, that's one. We'll probably, like, you know, gain more. Oh, you, you a bitch. Fuck. All right. Can I, can I do this? All right. All right. Oh, y'all can get it. All right. Come here. Yeah. Plus. Uh. Nope, move. What else? Zoinks. Wow. Come here, come here. Nope. Ah, bitch. Come here. Nice try. It's over. Finally. All right. Cool. Get me out of here. Say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Oh, 
Our friends seem to have things under right. control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. Alright, cool. Let's uh, go back home. I should probably check on my abilities. You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, wait. Yup, yup. Okay, so... Oh yeah, this is our new power. How the fuck do I change it? How do I... So, wait, how do I use it? Whatever, it's the it's the end of game. I I don't really care. Um Damn. Yo, Otto. I'm back. Wondering when you turn up. Hello, small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Oh, yeah, Josh is here, right? Right, right. Honestly, that battle. With Clive and Josh, like you know, like a, a good old tag team. So it was not Sylvester. It was good. It was it, it was it was it was uh, it was like a ten. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. afraid to wake had I but reached out to him sooner warned him of the threat Ultima posed but now both an empire and her prince lie broken Joshua what do you know of Ultima very little I'm afraid Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. 
nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Well, I have pot armor. Yes. But they do not end there. <laughs> the fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Hmm. Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. Mm. What were you thinking? Damn. It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. That makes sense. That makes sense. Holy shit. Joshua. I'm fucking dying here, man. I'm dying. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. I'm dying here. We know. Alright, 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 alright. What's the short of it? Myrtle, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua. Bed is where you should be bound. Joshua, if you don't sit your ass down. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Well, you were good, by the way. Healer. Anyways, oh, Josh, sit down. Healer. Lay down. But, thanks to Why are you up? I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. Alright. You fit on die. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. Okay. Travel to the crows, whatever you, whatever how I pronounce it. Holy shit. All right. Um.
cloak and dagger. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. We don't got sure time. To tell you. Gavin, the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Hmm? Oh. Well, we should probably got go. um, kick it up a notch. All right. Let's go. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Nope. Nope. We don't. Nope. We don't got time. We don't got time. We don't got motherfucking time. We don't got time. We don't got time. I just want to um, finish this game. She's strong will, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive. But with better we don't got time. We don't got motherfucking time. Bitch. No, we gotta go. We gotta no. I'm about to say, don't fall. Nope. We ain't doing no damn side quest. You all right? You you will be all right. Another Call day. somebody. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. God damn! You're faster than I am. How the hell? I should I should be the lead. How dare you be faster than me? Move. We nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? Just zoom in. There are a few places I haven't. So, where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Oh wait! Doo -doo -doo. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of. His I'm about to say, is she the one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events of Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. 
The Einherja is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Meanwhile... But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame. Blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? It's the gay couple. But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The King... He has come to save us from the Akashic. <laughs> he is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Damn, that scared the shit out of me. Enough. How and why, I don't know. Yeah. Pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. 
But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Oh shit! But what is oh. it? Hold on, hold on. It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate. That I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Uh, by all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya los delan to isag ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. Mm. If... if that is your wish... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. but... But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Yeah? All right, cool. cool. I, I. He'll be fine. He, he will be fine. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. <laughs> it's plain she cares for Damn, bro. What the Damn. hell? Which is why I had to let her go. Uh, to teleport. Can I fucking teleport? What do you want me to do, bruh? Alright. Shit. Opportunity Excuse me. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. 
and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you, if there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva, then. We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed very... Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Hmm. Okay, so we're cloaky dagger. Yeah. Okay. Uh. The free cities under sea. Come on. Faster. <clears throat> Are you sure this is the right way, brother? You know what? You're right, you're right, you're right. I thought it this way was the um oh, was the shortcut. Excuse me. Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me. Excuse me. How y'all doing? Boys, what up, what up? Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? Okay, how do I get off? All right. Should I stop? Oh, no, 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 no. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think. My you're boy. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. The squad. Good to see you, Uncle. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, 
Allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Are even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> My boy Josh about to riz up. You know what? That's my guy, Clive. Man, get your eye out of here. I want to play as Josh now. My I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> oh. My boy Josh was trying to spit that Six game though. That's what it looked like. I'm Empty sorry. Eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultimus doing? Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if this is the, the best squad, time, honestly, though. Even though Mid, you she's not like a fighter, but um, she's pretty much like the, see, the, the down engineer. Gav, I see Gav as like... Hold up, hold up, hold up. In a way, so I see Gav as like... Anyways, I see Gav as like the Usab of this group. Shall we then? And you keep Clyde safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Alright, it's just me and you. Alright, Toggle. Let's find those uh, before that, let's end it right here. If you enjoyed this video so far, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.